The Astros took game four against the Yankees. The series is now three to one with the Astros leading and the Yanks have lost three in a row. What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Talking Baseball. A little different episode. Jake is in Ve- uh, Vegas. He's in Nashville, which his girlfriend keeps using the hashtag Nash Vegas, which is why I said Vegas, but it's just Nashville. He's in Nashville doing something. Think his girlfriend's five-year reunion of something. Um, we recorded this, this game recap for our Yankees podcast, Talking Yanks, last night. And the difference between the two podcasts is always that Talking Yanks is for a specific fan base that wants to commiserate with people. So we record it when the emotions are at their highest um, so people can can feel the same. Talking baseball is, you know, because it's more we try to cover everything that's going on. It's not as emotionally driven. So usually we wake up the next morning and we try to be rational and have more thought out reactions and emotions. Problem is game yesterday was brutal for the Yankees. Jake's in Nashville. We were up till 3 a.m. recording it to think we were going to wake up this morning and just rehash everything. It just felt like, What the fuck are we doing? Why would we do this to ourselves? Um, So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play. It's only 20 minutes. I'm going to just play for you guys the Talking Yanks episode from last night. Now, if if you have no interest in Yankees fans crying and being emotional and depressed and me being in a sad, depressed state, don't listen. Uh, Jake thinks a lot of you might get a kick out of hearing how sad we are since you've uh, spent a lot of time with us this postseason and we've given you episodes every day i didn't want to not give an episode but also there's not much else to say whenever we record these episodes on the brink of elimination or elimination uh i never listen back because i'm embarrassed about how emotionally invested i allow myself to get into a game that breaks your heart i mean for everyone besides one team it breaks your heart so uh so yeah i probably feel a bit I guess just embarrassed or ashamed but not really because like I get it but I definitely don't like listening back to it so enjoy it if you want I will say this it's talking yanks so we don't mention anything about the Astros Um, Astros are really good and they have taken advantage of every opportunity that is given to them or they get for themselves which is the opposite of the Yankees leaving everyone in scoring position. The Astros have converted on every chance. Obviously, their starting pitching is really good, but their bullpen has showed up, and I hope that the national media starts giving those arms. Joe Smith, Will Harris, I hope they start getting some credit and the storyline doesn't go into... uh, the next series, if it's the two of them, if it's the Nationals and the Astros about how, you know, great starters, terrible bullpens, because this Astros bullpen just showed up big time in the championship series. So it would suck if they go, you know, unnoticed just because people like sticking to the narratives. But it's definitely starting pitching driven for the Astros. And they have Verlander tonight versus Paxton. And all hope is lost on uh, our end of things and you'll hear that i'll run some some ads which um i said this on the talking yanks episode as well thank you guys for sticking through us sticking with us through this ads we we never had ads because we were never big enough for ads for a long time um we used to record this on our computers like whatever never had ads we got signed with an ad agency And uh, as we build up our portfolio and start growing and trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work, the easiest way is to insert these kind of pre-recorded commercial ads. Um, It's a bridge to a different destination where Jake and I are reading the ads and having fun and making content out of them. And I just want to say thanks for hanging in there with us for these because they're a bit odd. But also, thanks to every single advertiser that supports us. All right. Here's the Talking Yanks episode. Enjoy our misery. 
Today is October 18th, and the Yankees have just lost game four of the American League Championship Series. They are now down three games to one and have lost three games in a row. Let's talk Yanks. Okay, we're obviously not doing a song today. No song at all allowed. Hopefully this is a quicker episode. My name's John Boy. If this is your first time listening to Talking Yanks, I'm guessing you're an Astros fan and coming to drink our tears, and you will get them. So just mind your business and wait a moment because you'll fucking get them. Uh, Jake is my co-host, and he's in Nashville. Just be patient if you want the damn tears because they're coming. They're coming. That was... uh... That was as tough as it gets, man. Oh, I'm depressed. Season's over. Um, I don't even want to watch tomorrow. Like, that's honestly where I'm at. I know that a lot of people come here because we're a beacon of light and rational thoughts and uh, optimistic spin. If anyone's got any of that, I can use it. I can use it. Um, You will not be getting that from me today. Uh, season's over, baseball's done, and I'm sad. I'll, uh, I'll find it tomorrow. I'll, I'll find a one game at a time tomorrow and, uh, try to break their spirits, beating Verlander and making it go back to Houston. Well, yeah, just laugh right inside. Na- right, right now it's impossible to do. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was as, it was as bad as it gets on multiple levels. We saw a Hall of Famer and hero of the organization go out on an injury. We saw our infield drop four straight balls, five straight balls. Um, and uh, uh, one of the more ferocious hitting teams of all time, if you put it on paper, kind of went down without, uh, without much of a fight. So uh, yeah, it had all of it brutal man like i don't want to talk about the game at all no um offense couldn't do anything first inning a lot of traffic i mean a lot of traffic all game you can't convert at all gary looks awful did it get the home run which is a whole nother fucking issue that i know i'm lashing out at the wrong part of things because really it's it's gary and gardner and dd and Edwin. And, and then it's really like the big question for me in the offseason is going to be the injuries did fuck us. Like we expected Edwin to come back and do it. JD to come back and do it. Hicks to come back and do it. People expect Voight and Talkman to come back and do it. Like those, I feel so bad for DJ and Glaber and Judge. Glaber did have a big strikeout. The base is loaded. Uh, he was in protect mode. It's kind of a nasty pitch. The offense is the main issue. When Gary cuts it to six to three, Jake, and you're in the eighth inning, I mean, that's that's a game that I won't lose faith in. Three runs, six outs versus their bullpen, right? Yep. But so much went wrong up until that point that our offense fucked up, right? But that's yes. still a game where you can make them sweat, you get a runner on base. You get another runner on base. The stadium's got life. You know, like, we were still in the environment of a the stadium had life environment when it was 6-3 when Gary cut the lead to three runs. Bringing in Adovino there was a slap in the face to yeah. every paying fan. And then what's he do? He lets the leadoff hitter get on base. Then DJ has the error on the spinning ball. Then the whole infield has an error because, like, Otto, basically you waved the white flag. We don't care about this game. I mean, how the fuck can you bring Otto into a 6-3 game in the eighth inning? That took the life out of the stadium. Now, that's just me harping on one thing because I, I'm sick of him right. in the postseason anyway. There's so much that went wrong, but it, it does not make a lick of sense to me. pisses me off. The how many strikes they took right down the middle, Jake. What the fuck? I don't know, man. It uh it's bizarre. It's bizarre. And you know, it's it's a lot of the names and faces that you'd think we'd be pointing to. It's not really Judge, it's not LeMayhew. Um, it's Edwin 
first inning. He uh, he gets one right down the middle, and he takes it, and the announcers are, like, shook. <laughs> the announcers are like, I guess he's looking off speed because that's as meaty as a pitch as you could possibly see. There's um, so many of them. Just fastballs takes, right down the middle. Strike three, no see. protect. Judge it's, had um, one from Granky with a runner in scoring position. It was 91 miles per hour, 3-2 pitch. Judge was clear. They're clearly sitting off speed and then just throwing fastballs right by him. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was bad baseball all around. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the defense is nothing to shrug at. Um, kind of that, that, I feel a little bad. I feel a little bad for, like, DJs, and then uh, Didi's. It was almost the saddest double play to get out of it in his glove. And Glaber, I, I, I mean, once once the game lost focus, Glaber's out. That's yeah. We see that, and we're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And, and I don't want to knock on Glaber because he's one of the dudes that showed up. Yeah, and it'll uh, ten years from now they'll show him that clip and he'll laugh at himself. Um, cause he's a kid. Cause he is a kid. He's twenty, twenty two. Um, hot take. Dude, Not a lot of people know that. Fucked up. It's a fucked up sport to be in love with. It's yeah. fucked up. A hundred and sixty two games. You watch them all. You live and die. There's thirty teams. Only one gets to win. The odds of winning are so slim. And then we just fucking fall in love, and we live and die, and we spend six months doing pregame shows and postgame shows and people tune in to our pregame show and they tune into our postgame show. We're not even just us, like get us out of here. Yes, network pre and post and like it consumes us. It's just fucking if there's a there's 29 fan bases left heartbroken. It's fucking yeah. fucked up. You know, football's easy. 16 games, fun Sundays. I wish I was a diehard football fan. 162 games, and now I'm just going to be depressed for a little bit. Let those words resound. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, Paxton tomorrow, an elimination game. <laughs> I'm all in. I mean, when he throws that first bullet, are you kidding me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Astros I'm, are going to be... I've already got Astros a, will win I've this a, game in the first inning. I've got a flight booked to Houston, man. <laughs> I'm ripping out hearts down there. Um, you know, I'll, I'll if if Paxton, even if the Yanks don't win tomorrow, if Paxton can go like six innings of three runs or less, he'll earn something in my book. Yeah, if he, because he's if, playing by himself. <laughs> it's him. It's him versus. It's him versus Houston. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't, I don't think I, I don't, I don't. I mean, oh, I'm hammer. I'm hammering the house on Paxton. Hammer um, Houston in one. Yeah, Jimmy, I think it's funny. And uh, you know, I save up. Have... I save up all this depression, Jake. And then when it hits, it floods yeah. out of me. Well, I, I think people during during the regular season, we say some fun stuff about baseball, how it's almost it's therapeutic for people. It's basically 98 percent of the summer nights. Um, it's on for three hours a day. And, you know, we've we've met so many people um that love it and it's it's been this whole ironic thing about our rise that you know our generation doesn't like baseball it's like well there's a youtube channel now with 400,000 subscribers that are the target demographic that guess what they like baseball um and i it it really is sick that um i and jim i mean even even if i try to make the glass as full as it could be if the Yankees were to pull off some miracle that you and me are in in some magical place that we can't even imagine right now <laughs> imagine imagine being a Houston fan <laughs> no I mean, um, you can't do that Boone said you no, know, stranger no, things have, stranger things have happened so yeah um yeah and I'm I'm probably going to get into some stranger things not talking Netflix people um, yeah, I've been accused of being high and drunk for the last four hours, so I might as well yeah. go get high or drunk. Yeah, exactly. Um, the uh, the CC thing, man. 
That was uh No, nah, I mean I don't even that's that's like truly really sad. Uh he won't be remembered for that. Uh, we'll be able to push that aside. I just feel really bad for him. Uh, it was bad managing by Boone. I mean, CeCe's in there with two righties with the bases loaded, but Boone's already thrown in the towel because he threw in the towel when he brought in Otto. Well, the fuck isn't Johnny Lasagna in Boone? You have CeCe out there versus Springer and Brant. Oh, no, no, who is he playing? There's two righties with the I bases think loaded. Bregman and Guriel. It started Bregman with Brant, and Guriel. What are you doing, Boone? He went. He went fucking uh, Dave Roberts on us, just froze. Like, why, why is CC yeah. out there? No, stupid. And then, I mean, it sucks that CC got hurt. And, dude, the the fact that CC, I mean, it, he was so hurt, and he was like, let me throw a pitch. Let me see if I can do it. You just got to love CC Sabathia, man. What, what, what a team player. And they threw that one pitch, and it was so sad. And I was like, oh, my God, he's done. Yeah, and he's... um. I don't know. You say this isn't part of the memory. I think this is part of the memory that he gave it everything to the end. Um, and I mean, he <laughs> the pitch before that, he got a ground ball to second, just got booted. Um, he uh, he gave an incredible effort. I think I think he got a full inning um, outside of some defensive misplays. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a brutal sport. Triton in the chat said, "Feel like Boone losing all the goodwill from the regular season." I mean, I think I think the reason we the Yankees are losing is because the offense has done nothing, and they are facing really good pitchers. But they've had each of these pitchers on the ropes, on the ropes, so so many opportunities. And it's credit to the pitchers for getting out of the jams, but it's also like. The offense. And so, like, I do think Boone, like, there's some questionable decisions with Otto and shit. And today I thought he fucking really fucked up that one inning. But we were already down 6-3. And the offense already dug the hole. Um, I don't really blame Boone that much for what's happening at all, really. I mean, it's yeah, the offense went dead. Um, that, that was my argument during the season. Like, hey, Boone looks like a genius when Gio Urshela gets the call from AAA and hits 320. Um, and now... The the bottom the bottom two thirds of our lineup six guys are basically minced meat, and yeah, Boone doesn't look like a great manager. <laughs> it's shocking. Yeah, I mean, I think he looks fine. I think you, they're just not hitting. Exactly. That's it, if those guys were all hitting, he'd look like a good manager. They're not hitting, and now people are wanting to question things. Yeah. Um. Think Stanton goes on the IL? Why even bother, right? Uh, either IL or Kirk Gibson. No middle area. Should have pinch hit for Edwin at one point. Yeah, I mean, you might see him in the DH spot tomorrow. I don't know. Sad man. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. They come out, packs and shoves. They beat Verlander tomorrow. I mean, you think I'm allow myself to? Well, no, and that's that's why I have an imagination is a thing that happens. Do you think you would believe in this team? No. Okay. I would jump from zero percent to five point seven percent. Oh, I'll take that all day, baby. No, nah, I mean, it's uh, impossible. It's not impossible, but it's one of the tougher tasks. It's not impossible. No, it's not impossible for, for me to grow either. I just have to pay a lot of money for surgery and hurt myself. I don't know if those are in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, they're similar. Kind of. Kind of. Did we reach 20 minutes yet or at 15? So we do 20 minutes. Anything else, Jake? I don't know. I'll I'll be locked in tomorrow. I'll be uh I'll be telling myself if we get Verlander and we make him have to go back home that you know, make make him squirm. Make him squirm. Um right now there's been nothing to think of that. Uh in theory this game is probability and statistics and you'd think one of these fucking bases loaded at bats, somebody could break their fucking bat and hit in a single that scores two runs. Um 
you know, but uh, that's what right. you I would with that Garriott bat. I would think I was live on Periscope, but I was saying when he went down 2 I said the only way this works out good is if Gary chases that slider low and away and just throws like his bat it. out, just bloops it over the first baseman's head. I mean, yeah. that's the best case scenario, the way he's swinging and all that right now. So didn't happen. Yeah. Hicks struck out, taking a fastball right down the middle. Glaber struck out, taking a fastball right down the middle. Gardner struck out, taking a fastball right down the middle. Judge struck out, swinging at a fastball right down the middle because he was sitting off speed. It was it was in, it was incredibly easy to strike the Yankees out today. If you got yeah. to two strikes, all you had to do is throw a fastball right down the middle. Yeah, it's like me. It's like I was of that. It was similar. I've seen you be pesky up there. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm going to be so sad. Yeah. That's the worst thing about uh, covering the national baseball scene now. It's like they don't realize, like, I still, like, am super emotionally invested. Like, I still, like, get sad. Like, they were trying to call me, like, what are you, a crybaby? I'm like, yeah, man, yes. Absolutely. It's called called aging. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. This is my life. It's called aging. We'll be good. One more game. I need people in the chat. I need people to treat at me positivity. Uh, okay. If I, like I ever did it for you over the course of the season, if I ever gave you rational, optimistic thoughts, I need it from you guys. Appreciate you. Jake's in Nashville. What are you doing? Are you going out? It's 1 a.m. No, no. I think they're, uh, they're out and actually uh, in – Somewhat of a moment of levity. Um, one one of Jess's friends I haven't met yet just came in during this, and this is how we've kind of met. Um, so I'd like to ice that over a little bit, <laughs> but uh, no, I'm uh, I'm chilling. It uh, I mean, damn man. Um, that's it. That's all. All right. See you guys tomorrow for the pregame show. Tune in. Should be a riot. Go Yanks. Tell them, Grams. Go Yankees. And that was that. Two sad Yankee fans who may be even more sad tonight. We got Verlander versus Paxton in a, a elimination game for the Yankees. We will see how it goes. We'll see if they uh, take it back to Houston for a game six versus Cole. <laughs> see if that's worth it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>